Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about objective questions and answer about metal casting processes and here that will be containing with top 20 questions. So that will be help to crack GAT Mechanical, UPSC, GPSC and all kind of government competitive examination. So let us start with our question number 1. Which of the following type of air is circulated over rack type con oven? Option A. Cool air. Option B. Hot air. Option C. Compressed air. And Option D. Odorless air. So basically on a rack type core oven for proper backing of the core basically hot air is circulated over the cores and odorless air or you can say compressed air or you can say cool air cannot be much help over here. So the right answer is hot air option B. The next question how are core manufactured in casting? Option A Cores are manufactured from a pattern in the same way as of mold. Option B. Cores are manufactured by machining process. Option C. Cores are manufactured by traditional methods. And Option D. Cores are not manufactured. They are found naturally. So, the manufacturing of the core is similar to the mold making and ramming process. So option A that will be the right answer. So cores are manufactured from a pattern in the same way as of mold is being manufactured. Then third question what are the core boxes? Option A used to support cores. Option B used to create cores. Option C used to store cores. And option D used to eject cores while ejection of casting after the solidification process. So basically the core boxes are those elements or you can say that will be considering as a tools which are used to create the cores. So generally right answer is option B. Then in the case of cold box core option A. The core mix is heat treated in order to cure it. Option B. Core mix immediately gets cured after sand is blown. Option C. Time is given to the core mix to be cured. And option D. Cold water is poured onto the core mix. So due to the high production rates the cold box are left alone to cure by itself after sand is blown into the core box. So right answer is option C. So for that time that will be given to the core box mix to be cured. The next which of the following is not counted as mold characteristics. Option A position of strength Positions of refractoriness, option C, resist corrosion and option D, resist metal penetration in mold. So basically the resisting corrosion is not any of the characteristics that would be related with the molds. While remaining all three that will be counted as a mold characteristics. So the right answer is option C. Then which of the following sand mold contains free water? Option A green sand mold, option B dry sand mold, option C coarse sand mold and option D sal mold. So among the following the green sand mold is found to contain free water. Since it is known to contain some amount of free water there is some dampness seen into this. So basically green sand which would be contains the free water. So option A. Then 
ग्रीन सैंड इज हीटेड टू वॉट टेम्परेचर टू कन्वर्ट इन टू अ ड्राई सैंड सो वन फिफ्टी डिग्री फेरन हीट टू थ्री हंड्रेड डिग्री फेरन हीट ऑप्शन बी टू हंड्रेड डिग्री फेरन हीट टू फोर फिफ्टी डिग्री फेरन हीट ऑप्शन सी टू फिफ्टी डिग्री फेरन हीट टू फाइव फिफ्टी डिग्री फेरन हीट एंड ऑप्शन डी थ्री हंड्रेड डिग्री फेरन हीट टू सिक्स फिफ्टी डिग्री फेरन हीट सो बेसिकली फॉर कन्वर्टिंग द ग्रीन सैंड मोल इन टू द ड्राई सैंड मोल जनरली द रिक्वायरमेंट टेम्परेचर इट वी अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड डिग्री फेरन हीट टू सिक्स फिफ्टी डिग्री फेरन हीट सो ऑप्शन डी देन ए स्कीन ड्राइड मोल इज ड्राइड अप टू वॉट डेफ सो ऑप्शन ए फोर एम एम टू ट्वेल्व एम एम ऑप्शन बी फाइव एम एम टू नाइनटीन एम एम ऑप्शन सी सिक्स एम एम टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम एंड ऑप्शन डी सेवन एम एम टू ट्वेंटी थ्री एम एम सो बेसिकली ए स्कीन ड्राइड मोल इज ड्राइड ऑनली अप टू द डेफ्थ फ्रॉम सिक्स एम एम टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम सो डेट वुड बी द सुटेबल डेफ्थ सो राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी देन In cement bonded sand mold, the sand mold material consists of what percentage of the silica sand? So, seventy five point five percentage. Option B, eighty point five percentage. Option C, eighty five point five percentage. And option D, ninety point five percentage. So, basically, the percentage of the silica that will be around eighty five point five percentage of the silica sands. so in case of the cement bonded sand mold it is observed that the sand mold material consists of very high content of the silica sand and that will be around 85.5 percent so option c then next a skin dried mold has to be poured immediately after drying option a true option b false so in case of the skin dried mold cannot be made to wait after drying and has to be immediately poured else so it may be catch the moisture from the green sand and may be become ineffective so the right answer is option a that is absolutely right then in cement bonded sand mold sand mold material consist of the what percentage of the water So option A, three point five percentage of water. Option B, four point five percentage of water. Option C, five point five percentage of water, and option D, six point five percentage of water. So basically, in the case of the cement bonded sand mold, the sand mold material consists of basically four point five percentage of the water. So the right answer is option B. The next, for how long is the mold in cement bonded sand mold allowed to set? So the option A, twenty four hours. Option B, forty eight hours. Option C, seventy two hours. And option D, ninety six hours. So basically, in case of the cement bonded sand is allowed to get set, so that get dry and cured for around a seventy two hours. before the pouring so right answer is option c then green sand mold contains the high strand option a true option b false so green sand mold is found to contain a very low amount of strand and a low amount of permeability so basically that is our false then permeability of green sand increase with the ramming option b decrease with the ramming option c can increase and decrease as well with the amount of ramming option d does not alter with the ramming so basically the permeability of the green sands that will be decrease with an intensity of the ramming done onto the sand hence the amount of the clay is adjusted to keep permeability into the profitable zone so basically the decrease with the ramming 
that is the right answer in case of the permeability of green sand then natural molding sand have which of the following qualities option a freely available into evidence option b contains clay in a large amount option c moisture content range is wider option d all of the mansions so basically the natural molding sand is cheap easily available and has a proper consistency of moisture and clay hence the requires less time for the preparations so basically all of the above that will be the right answer then rpm stands for which of the following molding process option a rotor plastic molding option b resin peat molding option c rubber plaster plaster molding and option d rough print molding so basically rpm that will be stands for a rubber plaster molding and that will be also known as a plaster molding process so use the plaster of paris is done in this process so option c then rpm is only used for castings of which of the following materials ferrous metals option b non ferrous metals option c plastics and option d silicon so basically the rubber plaster molding process that would be used to making the mold that can only use producing a non ferrous castings like copper and aluminum based alloys so option b non ferrous metals then what is the range of the temperature used for baking molds using plaster molding process option a 50 degree to 100 degree option b 80 degree to 120 degree option c 120 to 260 degree and option d 250 to 300 degree so basically 120 to 260 degree that will be the more preferable for the baking the molds using plaster molding processes so option c then the dried plaster mold have option a low permeability option b high permeability option c moderate permeability and option d same amount of the permeability as other molds so basically in case of the dry plaster mold have low permeability so the right answer is option a then peat molding is used for option a low weighting casting option b moderate weighting casting option c heavy weighting castings and option d making castings that required less time to process so basically in case of the peat molding that will be the very heavy castings uh, that will be made so the castings weighting up to the around 150 to 160 tons can be processed through the peat molding process so the right answer is option c heavy weighting castings so i hope you all understand all that important questions if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching